What's up, nerds? Uh, so today we're going to be sealing the uh, Strandberg Cranberry Pomegranate Burst Bowden that uh, I've been working on in these videos. Um, I'm going to start out by you doing a, a UV uh, on the on the top. Um, now that I have all the color laid down on there that I want, uh, just going to UV grain fill over that. Um, and then I'm going to talk about the three different kinds of bonds uh, that you deal with in paint. Uh, so first off, you get you know the mechanical bond, which is basically you know your finish has something to really kind of stick stick into. Um, basically, sanding scratches that sort of deal. Uh, secondly, you have the chemical bond, which is you know you have some sort of chemical that helps your your sealer your finish stick to your surface what you're working on uh, and then uh, lastly you have uh, the emotional bond which is you know it's very very hard sometimes just to just to let these things go you know very hard this one's gonna be hard I don't want to see it go uh, okay, so let's get started on that. All right, so I have my guitar. I have a 150, no, I'm sorry, that's a 100 grit scuff pad there. Um, got a couple rags for wiping things off. And let's do it. I'm gonna run some goo on it. see that there's a little bit of the spillover of the stain which is why we went ahead and, and UV green uh, UV grain filled the, the sides before we put the stain on uh, basically just to prevent it from soaking too far into the wood then I would have you know since this is gonna have a purple back you would have kind of like this weird discolored purple right there it wouldn't really match with the rest of it so that'll come off with the scuff pad and I'll show you that in a bit Alright, so now I'm going to use the 100 scuff pad, um, basically that's going to also, it'll be taking away, you know, the stain from, from the sides and everything that I have that's spilled over. It's also going to help me create a mechanical bond, uh, so it'll have, you know, kind of these scratches inside the UV promoter that are, is going to help it give the finish really something, in, something to bite into, um, which is good because you don't want the finish falling off or flaking off um, you know that just that wouldn't be good it would be be awful really So now when I go when I go to do the top, I want to be very careful that I'm not sanding so much that I'm taking off too much color. Uh, I really want the color to to, to stick to the guitar. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of lightly run over it since it's a hundred. I don't need to use too much pressure. I can just kind of you know lay it on there and, and just use the weight of my hand as as the amount of pressure that I need for this. stuff in here. And now 
also want to scuff in here. Since I want the finish to stick to all surfaces, A little bit in here. And once more. So you can see that it took away, you know, I was able to take off most of that stain in there. A little bit of light stain on the side here is not gonna make too much of a difference. Uh, the purple will cover kind of the lighter colors. So I'm not, I'm not gonna be too concerned about that. Um, you can see I have kind of that nice little reference line of where I wanna place my tape when I go to put the color on. Um, so that's gonna help me, that's gonna help me later because if it was all red, I wouldn't know where the top is and, and the back is since, you know, they're both pretty light woods. This being ash, this being flame maple, they would look too similar and I wouldn't be able to find it, so. All right, uh, so that's the basically the mechanical part of it, the mechanical bond part of it. Um, now we're gonna move on to doing the chemical chemical bond. All right, one of the things that I want to do before I go ahead and seal this is I want to plug these with a little bit of paper. I don't want finish getting into these threads. They're a nice tight thread, um, and it would it would really suck to get the you know, not be able to get the post back in once uh, once we're done with this. No sense in refinishing it if we can't play it, you know. Um, so I'm just going to take a little bit of paper here and just kind of plug it in. take some tape and uh, tape off the, the top of the insert there. Get a little nice indentation so I can see where I need to cut. Another option is you could always take the insert out. Um, but I'm choosing not to do that, clearly. God damn it. Fucking motherfuck, you know? Right, so now we're ready to move on. All right, so I have my adhesion promoter mixed up, ready to go. Um, this is basically, this is the chemical bond part of it. Um, it's gonna help the sealer stick, adhere to the wood. Actually, while we're waiting, uh, why don't I go ahead and show you this, this banner here. Uh, so I got this banner back in 2004 when I first started with ESP Guitars. Um, I found this just kind of sitting in the back of the warehouse. 
I took it, sat it on my bench, and anytime anybody came through, uh, I'd have them sign it. So I got, you know, Steph Carpenter, Wayne Static, Dave Mustaine, who was with us briefly. Um, some of these I can't remember. Uh, I got Billy Kay from Mastodon. Uh, Dave Lombardo, Paige Hamilton. Um, some dudes from, from a second story window. Uh, I got a Tosa Nabasi here. I got the Robert Trujillo, Kirk Hammett, uh, Buzz from On Earth, James Hetfield. He said super thanks. That's pretty cool. Um, Kelly Hayes, Alexi Lejo, George Lynch, uh, Chris from Strung Out. Cassie from Walls of Jericho. Just kind of shows how old this thing is, you know. Um, when I sent this to James Hetfield to have him sign it, he crossed out my B and turned it into asses. It's pretty funny, pretty funny. All right, so I've waited my minimum time, which is uh, 45 minutes for the adhesion promoter to uh, kind of cure up, flash off, do whatever. Um, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and seal it real quick. Uh, typically I would be using a vertical sanding sealer, but for this one, uh, I'm gonna go with just sealing it with clear. Um, uh, 